then, love. You are drink doc. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, come on, take it. You see the day out there again. Well, hardly. I just gave the paramedics a but hand. Stop being modest. You're a hero. I feel like Lois Lane, me. Yeah, because he's a dead ringer for Clark Kent. You can keep the change. Oh, you know what? Maybe you should wear your wife looks on the outside of your trousers. Uh, <laughs> he wears boxers, actually. Too much info, Ta. Yeah, I agree. I think my underwear's best left alone. Oh, I didn't say that. Right, I'm off. But I've just got you one in. Well, you drink it then, because if I have to listen to them two for much longer, we're going to be seeing your shepherd's pie from early, and it wasn't that nice looking the first time around. Mate, we just face down with a drug dealer and lift. Should be celebrating. Not with them two rubbing my nose in it. Right then, then we'll go into town, won't we? Kirky will be up for it. Jace might come if Rosie lets him. Come on, you know you want it. Go on then, get in. I'll race you. Meat Market Central. Perfect. I was always going to Meat Market when I was a butcher. I never pulled. Shame Jay's couldn't get a pass out. <laughs> I always wonder what was in that jar when he's mad up his... You know, he should grow a fringe cover that dent on his forehead. I know. It's not like you'd ever do the dirty on Rosa. And even if you did, she'd never find out. Because what goes on top... Better tell you what, you go on tour around here and you might come back with some unwanted souvenirs. Why can't we go to the other place? Because it was full of men. Anyway, this place, it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah. Wouldn't that put holes in it? Oh, the water has run out. I just want to drink me anyway. My pulling days are over. You can't be serious, Ty. I've been a mechanic long enough to know a right off when I see one. I'll get the beers in. No, no I'm not for it. <laughs> I'm not for a blowout. I don't know about doing it. I'm His confidence is shot. It's only natural, I suppose. Hey, there's nothing natural about giving up at his age. Right, get you all that out. Bust it, tell us it. What for? Leave it with me, grass up, but a really tough year. In fact, he's had more bad luck than any man deserves. Oh, poor guy. He's a smashing bloke as well. After everything, I just started getting a bit withdrawn. I mean, I've tried getting him out more, you know, meeting new people. That's good of you. So, uh, single, are you? Me? No, <laughs> no. I'm just with my mate, you know, cheering him up, trying to make him smile again. In fact, I was hoping you could help me with that. You can make yourself 20 quid. <laughs> what the hell do you think I am? <laughs> you better do one before you get yourself in trouble. No, oh. <laughs> Look, it, it, please just hear me out. It's nothing dodgy. He's lost his confidence with girls, and I was just hoping that if a couple of girls like yourself could show a bit of interest, it'd give him a real lift, you know? Please. Look, all you need to do is talk to him for five minutes, make him feel good. Easy 20 quid you ever made. Now, sorry, I've got enough troubles of my own without having to listen to someone else's. Where is he? Just by the bar. In with the nuts? No. <laughs> no, the one with the blue shirt. All right. Okay. Don't fret. He's got a nice face. Thanks, love. Look, his name's Tyrone. If you could just, you know, make it natural, it'd be good. I'm not daft. Just leave it to me, eh? And to be said for being on your own, I can go wherever I like, do whatever I like. Yeah, but there's some things that you can't do on your own, isn't there? It's not the be-all and end-all sort of Do you think? I want to be careful they don't see you garping. Why? Can't touch me for looking. The boyfriends can. A boat pinned me up against the wall outside the chip of the other week. He thought I was following his bird trying to hook up a skirt. And were you? No. I dropped my pickled onion. It was roaming away, down the ramp like. <laughs> That's what they all say. Evening, lads. I'll have a vodka and coke if you're offering. John Ice. I wasn't talking to you. When you're ready, darling. It's on the mock three the introduced round headlights. I thought there was an all caprice. We're getting mixed up with fairy dice. The mock one and two had rectangular lights. You know so much about motors. I was never at my dad's garage. And he used to take me to Bellevue to see the banger racing. I used to go there all the time. Never forget the smells. Scorched tires, diesel fumes, burnt onions <laughs> from the hot dog stand. <laughs> we stood in the same queue for one. Ooh, does it show? <laughs> it's all right. My nana always said never trust a skinny bloke. Oh, I've not been to Bellevue for years. Maybe we could... What, go to a meet? I'd love to, or just go for a drink sometime if you fancied. Are you coming? I want to get an egg burger before the van shuts. Hold on a sec. So am I getting your number then, or what? Yeah, defo, yeah. I'm free most nights next week. Right. Uh, there you go. Ta. Bye then. See you, Kirsty. <laughs> What'd you give her? Well, you know, gave her a bit of the old Dobbs magic and my number. We're going out next week. My man. <laughs> <laughs>